Hello. Hello, good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, Here. teacher. Fine. Fine. Ready. Ready. Yes. For yes. the last day, right? Of module, last day. Right. of module one. Okay. For the last day of module one. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How, How do you feel? You? Great. Great. I I am fine. Oh, nice. It's good to know. It's good to know that you are fine. It's good to know. Yes. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué quiere decir, teacher? It's good to know. Es... Ajá. Ahora. Es bueno ahora. O como. Uh, Está bien ahora. No y saber. Ah. It's no, good to know. Sir. Es bueno saberlo. It's good to know. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Thank yeah. you. Good it's well, it's good to... Hello, good evening. evening. Give me a moment. I will close the door. Deme un momento. Solo cierro la puerta. Yeah. Okay. Now you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, let me see. Yeah, it's getting. Okay, hi, Miguel. How's everything? Everything is okay, teacher. Are nice. You? I'm great. You? I'm great. Excellent. Yeah, ready for this is the last the day. day of module one. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> okay, teacher. Hello, Ada. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Very well. Thank you. Crossing. It's good to see you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hi, Os oh, we have Osmin here. How are you doing, Osmin? Uh, here, prepare for the class. Preparing for the class. Nice. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Very well. Nice. And we have Ernesto connected too, right? Hi, Ernesto. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Ernesto. How are you doing? I'm fine. You? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Okay, so we have more people getting connected. So we are about to pass the attendance and... Well, for today, we have some, some content, of course, uh, not so much content because today we have the satis satisfaction questionnaire, okay? That's why we don't have like too much, okay? Because basically, you know that in the, in the satisfaction uh, questionnaire, we spend like 20 or 30 minutes, okay? So the rest is class, of course, yeah? So let me start and I will pass the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. Very good. Joanna? <clears throat> Lourdes? Margarita, Mayra. Present teacher. Okay, very good. On the way. <laughs> yes. All right. Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson. Ophelia. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Present. Rosa. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Present. Zulma. Present. Salia. Present. Good evening. Hello, good evening. She answered. Asalia answered, she did. Not right. 
Azalia, Azalia le contestó. Azalia. Yes. Oye, oye. <ríe> ok. Uh, Ingrid. And Susan. Oh, well, she's not connected. Okay, so uh, we are going to start uh, then. Uh, Hi, teacher. Yes. I'm here. <laughs> All right, Joanna. I will put it the second time, okay? So uh, then we are going to uh, start. And I just want to ask you quickly. Um, yesterday, we studied what? We studied... We studied... Yeah. We studied... Present progressive. Ah, the present progressive or present continuous versus... Versus will. Versus will, right? Okay, and we saw some differences, okay, between the present progressive and will, all right? So, uh, so yes. what, is the, what is the difference between the present progressive and will for the future? The present progressive, it's uh, when I take a plane. Exactly, and, exactly. And, the, and will? The will is uh, when I take a su suggestion, uh, propose, yeah. proposal, I don't know. Pro propose, promise, proposal. promise, a ah, promise, a ah, ah, promise. promise, okay, a ah, promise, all right, yeah, it's true, all right, so basically, uh, we use the present continuous when we have a plan, or when we have an arrangement, okay, remember two purposes, Present continues when we have a plan and when we have an arrangement, okay? For example, in my case, I have a plan for Saturday. In my case, right? So I say, for example, I am giving a class on Saturday morning. I am, listen, listen to the structure. I am giving, ing, a class on Saturday morning. I have a plan, all right? Yeah, another yeah. plan. I am going to church on Sunday morning. I am going to church on Sunday morning because I have a plan with my family, all right? Yeah? Okay, so um, tomorrow I am working in the morning. I have a plan, okay? I have a plan, yeah? Very good. So this is the present continuous, okay? So tell me a plan that you have for the future using the, using the present continuous. Tell me a plan you have for the future. My plan is for Saturday. I am giving a class on Saturday morning and afternoon, right? So I have a plan. Tell me one plan you have. Yes, in my case, tomorrow, uh, I have working. I am, I am working. I am working. I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow, exactly. Working, okay, working. Working, yes. Working tomorrow. Working. Okay, repeat it, Osmin, please. I am working. I am working. Tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. Yes, you have a plan, all right? So you use the present continuous. So the verb yeah. to be and the verb with ing, right? Am, is, or are, and working, studying, listening, trying, okay? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> My goodness, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, now, let's see, any, any, thank you very much, anybody, thank you very much, anybody else with the plan? So Osmin says he's working tomorrow, that's his plan for tomorrow, so tell me your plans for the future. Okay, Rosa. Okay. I'm having, I'm having uh, uh, e-learning. Uh, my job. I have any learning training. Capacitation. Training. training. <laughs> I have any learning training on Saturday in the afternoon. All right, very good. So you have a plan because and and, and you have it on the calendar, right? So yeah. it's a plan. Okay, I'm having a training on Saturday. Thank you very yes. much. So anybody else? I am having a training. I am giving a class. Osmin is working tomorrow. So what are your plans? Tell me your plans. For tomorrow or for any day in the future? Don't 
don't be shy. I want to listen to your plans. <laughs> but I am try. Voy a intentarlo. Okay. Uh, on the Sunday. On um, Sunday. We we are we are eating. Yes. Eating with my family. Good. It's okay. On Sunday we it's are okay. eating with my family. Yes. Okay, so maybe you can say we are eating chicken or yeah, because um, we are eating is too but, general. Yes, yes, yes. Um, with Pizza. my family and y, y amigos, como se diría? And friends. Yeah, and friends. And friends. And friends. And friends. Yes. And friends. Yes. All right, very good. So, uh, you, you, you have a plan to, to get together. So, you are getting together. Se van a es, you are getting together. Exacto. Es correcto poner, o sea, primero el día, on Saturday. On, yeah, it's okay. Cualquier día, it's es, okay. es correcto. Ajá. You can say on, sun, on Saturday. Porque podría on ser también, ajá, podría ser primero, we are eating um, on Saturday. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, okay. The, the two ways are okay, the two forms are okay. Okay, thank okay. you, Angela. Thank you for sharing your plan. So, any other plan? Any other plan? Oh my goodness, I want to listen to your plans. Tell me, please. Shop <laughs> <Some> secret. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will go straight. I will start shooting. Rafa, what are your plans? I'm going to the. Uh, I'm going. Uh, to a party tomorrow tonight tomorrow oh my goodness oh, tonight yeah. tomorrow night tomorrow night tomorrow yeah. night oh my god party oh my god party time good i like it thank you rafael <laughs> gloria uh, i have uh, I having a meeting on the Saturday Saturday with my boss. Yeah, it's okay. I am having or I'm having. All right. Thank you, Gloria. That's very good. Anna Michelle. Okay. I'm going to the beach this weekend. Oh my goodness. What a plan. I like it. <laughs> Darwin. Darwin. Uh, my friend, <laughs> my friend and I are playing basketball. When? Uh, Saturday in the night. So on Saturday night. On Saturday night. Okay, on oh. Saturday night. Okay, very good. So you have a plan. Okay, I think it's better to shoot, right? Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much for sharing your your examples okay um don't forget that uh, we use this structure uh, to talk about future plans we can also use going to también, también usamos el going to with the same purpose casi con el mismo propósito okay so you can say uh for example i am having a meeting on saturday or you can say i am going to have a meeting on saturday it's the same purpose okay you can say i am playing basketball with my friends on saturday or I am going to play basketball with my friends on Saturday, all right? You can say, for example, I am going, I am going to a party or I am going to go to a party, all right? It's the same purpose, all right? Uh, going, using going to, okay? This is just to expand a little bit. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the uh, first activity for uh, today. And in the first activity, I remember, um, Yesterday, we started some training solutions, right? Do you remember? Yes, no? Yes, right? Yes, I guess yes, you do. Teacher, yes, so we yes, started teacher, some, yes. training, some training solutions, okay? And in the training solutions, uh, we had, uh, for example, of the shelf training, okay? We had in-house training, shadowing, and mentoring, okay? Do you remember what we had in number one? Here for description number one, uh, what training solution did we have? 
Shadowing. 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 Okay, Shadowing. so shadowing. So basically, uh, the idea of um, the idea of shadowing is it involves one employee following another employee. I mean, one employee following another employee, like a shadow, right? Como una sombra, like a shadow, okay? To learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction, okay? Have you ever uh, done this? ¿Alguna vez han hecho eso ustedes? Have you ever done this? No, never? This is very common for cashiers, right? When you go to the supermarket, to super selectors, for example, or other uh, supermarkets, you see one cashier teaching another cashier, okay? And, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, the experienced cashier is there and he is observing and the other cashier is learning. So this is shadowing, okay, shadowing. This is very common, okay, good. Description number two. What did you have in description number two? Do you remember? Number one. Okay, okay, but tell me the word. Of? Of the shelf training the courses. Shelf training. Ah, exactly, of the shelf training courses. courses. So what is the description of these courses? They are cheap. I mean, they don't cost too much. Okay, they are cost effective, right? They don't cost too much money. Why? Because they are generic. Okay, all the staff of the company will join, okay, from other, and maybe from other uh, companies from the same line, okay, or from the same chain, they will get together and they are designed to achieve or count towards a particular organized qualification, okay? So they are cheap and generic, all right? Good. Let's see number three, description number three. What do you have in description number three? Number four. Mentoring. Ah, number four, and it is? Mentoring. Mentoring, mentoring, exactly. What is mentoring about? It involves the informal, look at this, this is very interesting, okay? Uh, the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings. Face-to-face -face meetings, okay? using email, telephone communication, and it is essential to have a, a mentor. So what is the difference between shadowing and mentoring? In shadowing, you don't have face-to-face -face meetings, right? And you don't have emails or telephone communication, okay? In shadowing, you only observe and you are behind the, the, this other employee. Y est va, están siempre pegados a la cola del otro empleado, okay? Just to learn. And here you have meetings Okay, you have emails, telephone communication, all right? And you have a mentor specifically. Okay, let's go to the last one, the last description, description number four. So what did you write? In-house training. In-house training. Okay, for the last one is in-house training. And it allows people to learn at their own place. That means in their house, right? And to apply new knowledge immediately. Even if they are in their houses, so they can learn at their house. The trainer must be technically able to do the task and have the patience to teach or coach, oh. all right? So the trainer needs a lot of patience here. Very good. So basically here we have um, four different, okay, four different training solutions, right? Four different training solutions. Sure. Now listen, why am I explaining this? Listen carefully. In this activity, you are going to work in groups. You are going to work in groups. And you are going to discuss, okay, with your with your team, uh, with your teammates, con su compañero de equipo, with your teammates, you are going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of these training solutions. For example, what are the advantages of in-house training? What are the advantages of shadowing? What are the advantages of mentoring? What are the advantages of, of the shelf training courses? And what are the disadvantages? ¿Cuáles son las ventajas? What are the, the disadvantages too, right? So disadvantages, the ventajas. So what are the disadvantages for in-house training, shadowing, mentoring, and of the shelf training courses, okay? Second question. Which would work better at your workplace? 
So question number one or part number one can be answered by, by all the group. Everybody can have the same answer, okay? Todos pueden contestar lo mismo for this part. But for this part, you need to decide which training solution would be better at your company, at your workplace, in terms of cost and learning quality for your employees, okay? In términos de costo y, y calidad de aprendizaje. So one, which one would work better? ¿Cuál funcionaría mejor? So you make a decision. Okay? Any question? Okay. So I repeat, the advantages and disadvantages can be, I mean, as a group, pueden ser como equipo. But the decision about the one that would work better for your company, it's individual. Eso es individual, okay? That's individual. So do you have any question? Questions? No? No questions? Uh, so these training solutions are on page number 38, okay? So the training solutions are on page number 38. Está en la página 38, okay? The training solutions. So questions? Or it's clear. Okay, we are going to work uh, 18 minutes. All right? 18 Thank minutes. You. 18 minutes. So please, a timer. We need a timer. Necesitamos alguien que lleve el tiempo. How much time? How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Hour. Uh, one, no, 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 an hour. Okay? okay. 18 minutes, all right? Si veo que no han terminado, les voy a dar unos 5 minutos más, porque a las 8.45 tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? All right? 8.45, Ajá, yeah. So I will give you 18 minutes. Si no han terminado, les voy a dar unos, unos cuantos minutitos más, unos 4, ¿ok? Hasta las 8.45 <laughs> para que compartamos después de la encuesta. O vamos hasta las 8.45 de un solo, ¿ok? Then I cash you off. Then we come and then you cheer. Yeah? So I will oh, give you okay. then... 22 minutes, 21, 22 minutes, okay? All right, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Okay. Sulma, vas a trabajar, Sulma? Jansi. Hi, teacher. Por el momento no voy a trabajar. Estoy en una reunión. Okay, thanks, Joana. Thank you very much. Lourdes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sorry for arrive late. It's okay, class. but are you going to participate in the first activity? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, then go to the group assigned, please. Okay. Mayra? Voy todavía de camino, teacher. Ah, okay, so just get into a group. Entra a un grupo para que estés ahí al menos de oyente en el grupo y luego cuando llegues te incorporas para trabajar. Okay, please. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you, thank you. Mm, no me envió invitación, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? No, aún no. Va. Ahorita te envío un grupo. Aquí tengo que no te okay. Este... ok, let me send you to a group. Thank you. Ok. Ah, de los... Del vocabulary. Building. Building. Yes. Okay. For example. Okay. Por ejemplo, vaya, la primera eh, palabra es los cursos de capacitación listos para utilizar. ¿Cuál podría ser una ventaja? De, dice, 
the second the second option in house training mm -hmm. okay No, ahorita estamos viendo la primera, ¿verdad? Oh, the third training course. Permítame. Ok. Eh, ajá. La primera ventaja podría ser la que dice ahí, cheaper generic course. Que son cursos. Cursos genéricos, o sea, que no tienen como una especialidad, ¿verdad? Sino que cualquier persona lo podría tomar. Esa podría ser una ventaja. Ah, bueno, sí. Generic courses. Y debemos de escribirlas, o sea, todas, cuatro eh, de cada una, o dos y dos. Ajá, una, do, dos ventajas de cada, de cada okay. topic. Dos ventajas y dos de Entonces topic. sería, the topic is generic. Sí. O, de, o la capacitación de training de training y generic ok de top the generic topics or courses okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Eh, otra ventaja es que puede aprender de otras empresas, podríamos decir. Porque es como esos que hacen en Insafort de que vas y te dan la capacitación a varios grupos de empresas. Yo he ido a varios de la Cámara de Comercio. Es bien chivo. <ríe> Se comparan a las empresas entre sí. <ríe> Entonces sí, podríamos sí, decir. Sí. Ajá. Eh, new, the new people, eh, the other company. Com company. Mm -hmm. People, the other companies. Okay, desventajas. The cost. Será caro. Lo que pasa es que como es en algunos, bueno, es que dice que se tienen que hacer en lugares de calificación. The cost. Ajá, the cost. Podría ser. The cost. O también sería el traslado uh -huh. o el tiempo fuera de oficina. ¿Cómo se uh -huh. dice fuera de oficina? Out, out, out of this. <laughs> teacher out of is correct. <laughs> Yo solo le vi sí. la sonrisa al teacher como, ¿qué están inventando? <laughs> no, no, I mean, you can say a uh, time out of the office. You can say out of the office, all right? But well, what do you want to say specifically? Is an advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Is a disadvantage. Hmm. Ajá, entonces Pero pierden es... tiempo fuera de oficina. Ah, ok. Then you say, um, but, but maybe you can Then say they, they waste, desperdician el tiempo, podría ser. O desperdician mucho tiempo, podría ser, tal vez suena mejor. Does it sound better? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. They waste time. Waste. Waste. They waste time. Waste is desperdiciar. Ok. Así como la aplicación, waste. No, no, yeah, that's different. It's like this. Let me write it for you. Waste. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, waste. Waste time. Waste. 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 Waste.
Ah, what's waste time? Hey, Fuera waste de time. la oficina. Out of the oh. office. Out <laughs> of the office. Out of the office. Out of the office. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. No problem. And the second. Pusieron el costo. The cost. Sí, the cost. The cost. Okay. Eh, de la que uh, estamos hablando segunda. es official training courses, ¿verdad? Sí. Official training courses. Ok. Courses. Uh, the second in-house training. Its advantage is uh, if the training in-house is a more comfortable. What is comfort. the option? The option is if a lot of people. No, de estas cuatro, ¿cuál es el significado? La última. It allows people to learn at their own place. Ok. Entonces, eso es como el tipo desde casa, tener el, el, el curso. Correcto. Ok. ¿Cuál podría ser la, la primera ventaja? It's a more comfortable. Ah, ok. It's, It's more comfortable, more siento yo. Comfortable. Ok. And the second. Eh, no existe costo. Any cost. Se puede decir así. Any cost. ¿Qué manda? O oh, pues así como que no tienen que gastar de salir de su casa. Un minuto. Ajá. Eh, learn, aprende, learn more. Se le escucha más rápido, más fácil. Learn more fast. More yeah. fast. Learn more fast. Uh -huh. Learn more fast. Faster. 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 Ah, sí, podría ser así. En lugar de, de more, poner learn faster. It's incorrect. Ah, to, remember that it's incorrect to say faster. Okay? I mean, to say more fast. To say more fast is incorrect. You need to say faster. Okay. Okay, faster. Porque... Comparta porque si no yo me tengo que salir e ir a ver la picture. Es que no les entiendo nada porque se escucha cortado, no sé. Y pueden ver el chat. Bueno. Sí. I think it's, ah, no, I think no. It's, I think it's your internet that is not working, Asalia, maybe. Are you having you problems not... with the internet, Asalia? Ahorita. Hello. Hola. Hello, Asalia. I think you are having problems with the internet. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, continue working. Um, okay. employee, learn faster. Um, y le ponemos como punto. Um, no. Hola. A, a disadvantage. Yes. Disadvantage. Huh? Eh, this, podría this ser... One advantage. The fear. Other this uh -huh. uh, advantage. This advantage. Ah, la desventaja. Yes. Por lo menos niños una, pongamos de cada uno. Una ventaja y una desventaja. Es que, uh -huh. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. ventaja es que si que andar a la par alguien o, o... ajá 
que aprende más rápido, ah, que aprende más rápido viendo, podemos poner. Eh, because the en new la, employee como la, learn faster. En la práctica, que en lo... Que en lo Hoy una desventaja, es una desventaja. Hoy una desventaja. Disadvantage. Advantage, disadvantage. Disadvantage is... <laughs> <laughs> You have the vocabulary, you see it in English. Um, no for your teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem. No, no, I mean, you have the vocabulary. Tiene el vocabulario, es en inglés. One disadvantage is, one advantage is, all right, in English, para que se le vayan quedando esas palabritas. Oh, yeah. Okay? My teacher. Okay, yes, perfect. teacher, thank you. All right. <laughs> disadvantage. Um, no. Forever. Una ventaja podría ser. Ay, no se me ocurre ahorita. Aquí luego que dice ventaja, ahí es desventaja. Una, una desventaja, de ventaja, perdón. Uh -huh. Creo puede ser que una desventaja es tener que asignarle a, a alguien. Persona, un. Ajá, a, a un es... Asignarle un recurso para que lo esté entrenando. O sea, es una desventaja. Uh -huh. Porque eh, a la empresa ese recurso, digamos, en, en producción o en, en, en resultado, pues, es, es menos lo que va a obtener relativamente. Ah, y también, también lo que podría ser otra desventaja es que, si imagínense, digamos, está poniendo el ejemplo que Nelson es de que ya saben el trabajo sí. y yo estoy aprendiendo. Entonces, eh, si Nelson se equivoca o está haciendo un paso malo, yo voy a aprenderlo así. A disadvantage. The discipline for uh, learning. Okay. But it's similar as shadow. It's similar, but when you have a shadow, you have to teach. And when you have a mentor, you have to ask to, I think, to find the answers, the reasons. It, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's similar. It's in, similar. in my case, maybe when, when your mentor, I don't know, um, have a lot of knowledge yeah. and she and he can share your uh, uh, his knowledge is is better but it depends uh, maybe when the university as assign, assign you your mentor is I don't know it's complicated for me maybe um, assign me uh, any anything no alguien como iba alguien somebody someone somebody so uh, someone that is no no uh -huh, de yeah. mi ah uh -huh, yeah yeah sometimes no sería de mi agrado it's, 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 it doesn't like Like, someone, like. someone I don't like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Someone uh -huh. I don't like. Uh -huh. Yes, it's 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 so difficult when when the university assign you a mentor that you say, oh my god. <laughs> But okay, and the uh, <laughs> Finish. We finish. Oh my! No, 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 no. The number two. In yes. house training. Okay. In house training. What do you think? What What are the advantage or disadvantage in in house training? An advantage is that we are at home. <laughs> It is the best advantage. <laughs> Disadvantage, I think that you have more distraction. Only if you are in a room blindado <laughs> and nobody, nobody 
nobody speak to you, nobody, no, doesn't, no pasa nada, I don't know. But I think that in house, in, in house training, disadvantage is that distraction is more complicated. Oh, the advantage, advantage is more comfortable. Yeah, more comfortable. Com comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah, but man. sometimes it's, it's I'm boring perfect. because I don't know. <laughs> okay. The time uh, for whatever uh, the hour. I... Oh, yes, you choose the time, maybe, maybe the time is access, accessible, Acce I don't know how to say accessible. Accessible. <laughs> accessible? Okay. Yeah, you can say accessible. Okay, accessible. Uh -huh, maybe the time is accessible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. If the trainer is, is very good, it's ability time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of time of time mm -hmm. the person the person who mm -hmm. trade ¿Cómo? Espérame. Uh, the, the ability uh -huh. of time of, uh -huh. the of the person uh -huh. who who uh -huh. who de quién who okay train is required ¿Cómo se escribía? Ah, ya sé. Who? Trains. Ajá. Trains. De como... Ah, trains. Trains. Ajá. Is required. Is required. I finish other career. Required. Así, está así. bien. Sí, así está bien. Lo que le decía, eh, no. Ajá. la palabra es como a, a, bail, a bailar. Dilisi. A bailar. Eh. Eh, ¿Ah? Ajá. Sí, Ajá. Ajá. la. Después de la I, la. Billy. B de peso. Ajá. A A ¿Cómo se pronunciaría, Tishas? Availability. 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 Así, así se escribe. Availability. With why at the end. Disponibilidad. Yes. Availability. Después Okay everyone um I guess everybody is connected in this moment I said at 8:45 uh so I said we were going to start with the satisfaction questionnaire Así que yo sé que algunos estaban trabajando aún, ¿ok? Sé que algunos aún estaban trabajando en la actividad. Así que de, ya, ya tengo los, los equipos aquí. Así que cuando terminemos la encuesta, vamos a ir a los equipos y les voy a dar unos cinco minutos más para que terminen, ¿ok? Pero mientras tanto, eh, vamos a dar inicio eh, a la encuesta de satisfacción. 
Así que en ese momento todos enfocados, todos concentrados en lo que vamos a hacer. Algunos tienen cámara apagada. Si sí voy a requerir que la enciendan, por favor, ¿ok? Eh, Ajá, para, para que podamos empezar con la encuesta de satisfacción, para que pueda ver yo realmente. Yo ¿Sí? como me pasó al correo, entonces se me apaga la cámara, estoy desde el cel. Ah, ok, no hay ningún problema, no hay ningún problema en esos sí. casos, ok. Muy bien, entonces okay. en, en ese momento damos inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta y bueno, ustedes todos saben, ¿verdad? Que esta encuesta es un requisito de parte de, de, de INSAFOR eh, y es el tercer requisito, por cierto. Eh, para ver si ustedes aprueban el módulo, ¿ok? Así que esto junto con, junto con la asistencia, que es el 80%, y junto a, a las notas de la plataforma, ¿ok? Que es el 80% también como mínimo, se junta lo que es la encuesta de, de, de satisfacción, ¿ok? Así que por favor, estemos muy atentos, mucha atención, y siguiendo las indicaciones. Yo sé que a veces algunos se adelantan, pero eh, la idea es que vayamos todos juntos, ¿ok? Para que realicemos la encuesta y para que no vaya a haber algún, algún error. Muy bien. Entonces, eh, primero vamos a ver un video. Siempre vemos este video para que tengan una mejor idea de cómo lo hacemos. Es parte del, de los requisitos, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver el video y va, ahí hay información acerca de cómo llenar la, la encuesta, ¿verdad? Así que en ese momento le voy a compartir el video. Okay, teacher. Muy bien.
Muy bien. Eh, bueno, ahora que vimos ya el, el video que nos indica prácticamente eh, cómo realizar la encuesta, que okay, todos tenemos conocimiento, vamos entonces a empezar a realizar la encuesta, ¿ok? Eh, para esto, me imagino que a le hice la solicitud, ¿verdad? Que todos tuvieran abierto su correo electrónico. Así que el, el correo que se les mandó, porque de ahí fácilmente pueden copiar y pegar. Y el detalle es que si tienen WhatsApp y si no están en la computadora, es difícil copiar partes específicas en el WhatsApp, del WhatsApp, porque les va a copiar todo el mensaje de una vez. Así que tomemos esto en cuenta y para eso entonces vamos, vamos a, dar, a dar inicio, ¿ok? Solo déjenme minimizar por acá. Muy bien. Entonces, eh, vamos primeramente... Ok, déjenme compartir las pantallas. Vamos a abrir entonces la encuesta de, de satisfacción, el enlace al que nos redirecciona. Eh, por aquí tengo yo el correo electrónico, así que... El primer paso es abrir la encuesta, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Así que en este momento todos abrimos la, la encuesta, el enlace de la encuesta de satisfacción. Bueno. Ok. Ok, déme un segundo. Give me a second. Ok, déjenme abrirlo en el WhatsApp, que no me aparece aquí en el, en el correo. A mí no me cayó en el correo, teacher, pero sí en el WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Entonces, pero si está en la computadora no hay ningún problema. Ok. Bien, solo déjenme buscarlo en el WhatsApp para mostrarles por acá. Give me a moment, please. Okay, wait, I have it. Ok, um, muy bien, si, si todos hemos entrado al, al enlace, eh, entonces por aquí les comparto, tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción y entonces vamos a dar inicio. Siempre sugiero que todos tengan la información ya lista para ir copiando y pegando, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a empezar con el ítem número uno, donde vamos a escribir el nombre, vamos, perdón, a copiar y pegar el nombre completo de la orden de inicio, ¿ok? Vamos a copiar, por eso dice, con guiones, y pleca. Así que para eso vamos a ir al, al correo que ya, que ya tenemos y por aquí tenemos la orden de inicio, ¿ok? Así que vamos a copiar en el número uno y luego vamos a pegar, ¿ok? Aquí como siempre les repito, no digitamos porque nos podemos equivocar en un número y ya iría fallida la, la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? que estamos realizando. Así que ahí copiamos y pegamos. Luego vamos eh, al ítem número 2, donde vamos a poner el nombre completo. Igual yo creo que les aparece en el correo electrónico también que les mandaron. Ahí, ahí copiamos y pegamos nombre, nombre completo. ¿Ok? Aquí en el número, bueno, si todos ya vamos, ya terminaron el punto número dos. Estamos bien hasta ahí. Muy bien. Vamos entonces al ítem número tres. Aquí van a, van a copiar y pegar su correo electrónico. 
es el correo que brindaron a inglés corporativo. No debe ser un correo que han creado recientemente. Debe ser el correo que ya tienen donde les mandan información, ¿ok? Donde les mandaron el correo de, por ejemplo, de la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Ese correo donde les mandan el diploma es el que tienen registrado con inglés corporativo. Así que vamos a copiar y pegar el correo electrónico. ¿Estamos listos para el número cuatro? Eh, Muy bien, vamos al número cuatro. El número cuatro, número de celular, es el celular igual con el que, con el que, el que tiene de ustedes, inglés corporativo también, ¿verdad? No puede ser otro celular, ¿ok? No pueden dar un número reciente, es el número con el que están registrados en WhatsApp. En el sexo, obviamente, ya sabemos todo lo que tenemos, lo que, tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, en mi caso sería masculino. Sí, <ríe> Luego, el departamento de residencia, aquí no van a digitar nada. Solo se van a seleccionar el departamento donde ustedes viven. ¿Ok? Así que se van, buscan el departamento y lo seleccionan. Luego el municipio, ese sí lo van a, lo van a digitar, ¿verdad? Yes. Si alguien tiene alguna dificultad, me lo hace saber, por favor, ¿ok? Si esto nos va quedando. Muy bien, terminamos el municipio. ¿Estamos listos todos para ir al número 8? Número 8. Muy bien, en el número 8, empresa donde trabaja, igual. Aquí, eh, aquí tengamos mucho cuidado, ¿verdad? Eh, se los decía la vez pasada, a veces aquí este, nos, aparece, nos aparece de una manera... Pero en sí, eh, a veces va de otra forma, ¿ok? Eh, es decir, aquí debe ir la misión social, creo que, que es que le llaman, si no me equivoco, no recuerdo muy bien. Porque puede ser que... Razón social. Ajá, correctamente, ajá. Creo que ya les aparece, ¿verdad? Así en el correo, así que ahí solo lo copiamos y lo pegamos. Si alguien tiene una dificultad con esto, me indica, por favor para buscarlo. Les aparece en el correo, ¿verdad? Y en WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Empresa donde trabaja, sí les aparece. Muy bien. Yes, teacher, yes. yes excelente. Yes. Muy bien, vamos entonces, ahí solo copiar y pegar, por supuesto, ¿verdad? No van a estar digitando. Por eso se les manda la información. El nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Aquí en esta parte vamos a ir a buscar inglés corporativo y luego la razón social que es Regan International SADCB, ¿ok? Inglés corporativo. Regal International SADCB. Y elegimos ahí. Teacher, dime. Ya. Yeah. Tell me, Osmin. Dime, Osmin. Eh, ¿Qué? Yeah. Este, eh, yo estoy en el WhatsApp para pegar de Regal. Corporativo, inglés corporativo, Regal International. No, no, eso no, eso no, le, no, le debe, no lo debe pegar, Osmin. Me aparece ya. 
Solo debe elegirlo nada más. Va si de fija aquí lo estoy haciendo, va solo el hijo nada más. Ya aparece. ¿Ok? Inglés corporativo, Regal International, SADCB. Ahí no tiene que pegar, solo elegir nada más. Ah, ok, ya, ya, thank you, ya. Ok, excelente. Bien, en el nombre del curso, igual yes. van a su, correo a su correo electrónico o a su WhatsApp, luego inglés intermedio 1, ok, módulo 1, perdón, inglés intermedio, módulo 1, y lo pegamos, ok. Sin comillas, ¿verdad, Tich? Sí, sin comillas. No es necesario. It's not necessary. Yes. Yo lo puse con todo, Tich. Ok, creo que eso no afecta. Exacto. El nombre sí, o el número de teléfono, eso sí les podría afectar. ¿Okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. Muy bien, eh, vamos al numeral 11. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Y luego, ¿cómo yeah. considera el tiempo? Aquí aparecen eh, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable y excelente en la última parte, ¿verdad? Así que... Ahí vamos a llenar en, en, el, en la opción que, que nosotros consideramos, ¿ok? ¿Cómo considera el tiempo completa, empleado para desarrollar el curso? Eh, ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Ahí ustedes eligen. ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en, utilizadas en el curso? Ahí eligen ustedes, ¿verdad? Va de insuficiente hasta excelente. En este caso yo he marcado excelente. Ahí ustedes marcan de acuerdo a su criterio. Okay. Deben marcar en las tres, ¿ok? No solamente una. Hacia abajo, debo marcar tres burbujitas, ¿ok? De forma vertical. Que no se les vaya a quedar una en blanco. Ok, si terminamos, vamos rápidamente al número 12, donde me pide en qué fecha inició el curso. Aquí no voy a digitar nada, ya me aparece, la, este, ya me aparece ahí el calendario, ¿ok? Así que fecha que dio inicio el curso, 30 de septiembre, ¿ok? Así que vamos al, al calendario que me aparece ahí, y solo voy a elegir nada más, 30 de septiembre. Y para eso van a ir al... Aquí con estas flechitas que les aparece, si se fijan, aquí, man, aquí ma, se manejan los meses, ¿ok? Así que en este caso nosotros iríamos al 30 de septiembre, ¿ok? Y lo elegimos y ahí nos va a tirar la fecha automáticamente. Repito, arriba les aparece. Aquí con estas flechitas pueden ir atrás o adelante unos meses, ¿ok? Así que iríamos a septiembre nosotros, a 30 de septiembre. Y luego, ¿en qué fecha, eh, ¿en qué fecha finalizó el curso? ¿Ok? El... Numeral 13. ¿En qué fecha finalizó el curso? Que sería este día 4 de noviembre. Noviembre, ¿verdad? 4 de noviembre. Así que vamos rápidamente y elegimos 4 de noviembre, ¿ok? okay. Tenemos que fijarnos acá que estemos en el mes correcto. Así que sería este día 4 de noviembre. Solo elijo el día y a meter automáticamente, ¿verdad? Eh, la fecha. ¿Ok? Muy bien, aquí en el numeral 14 sí quiero que hagamos una pequeña pausa. Y dice, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Muy bien, aquí solo, solo voy a leerles algo muy importante. Así que eh, en este numeral cada, cada uno de ustedes debe marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho, ¿verdad? Así que aclaramos que en este punto no se refiere a cómo usted se siente eh, por haber cumplido o no. Es decir, no, ¿cómo, ¿cómo usted se siente por haber cumplido o no? O sea, no es algo personal. ¿Cómo yo me siento respecto a esto? Y tampoco se refiere a que no le parecen las cosas como el manual o el hecho de mantener la cámara encendida, que a mí no me gusta tener la cámara encendida, o tal vez alguna acción de algunos compañeros. Este punto se refiere, aclaro, el punto número 14. Se refiere únicamente a cómo mi persona ha impartido la clase académicamente y a cómo nuestro equipo administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de los procesos, ¿ok? Así okay. que ustedes pueden seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones. Si usted selecciona insatisfecho, nos damos por enterado que no procederá en la inscripción del siguiente módulo, por supuesto, ¿ok? Porque está insatisfecho, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Así que, en este caso, yo mar marco satisfecho. 
ya habiendo aclarado la situación acerca de ese punto, marcamos ahí entonces. Muy bien, eh, numeral 15. Mencione que otros cursos son de interés, de su interés. Ahí menciona uno de ustedes que sea de su interés, ¿verdad? Puede ser mecánica, eh, no sé, sastrería, Excel. postura, electricidad, Excel, no sé, ok, ahí pueden escribirlos. Y luego algún comentario que ustedes tengan y al haber terminado presionan en enviar. Enviar, ok. okay. Cuando recuerden, tomar. recuerden, recuerden, importante, cuando usted presione enviar, tiene que hacer una captura cuando haya enviado, que le va a aparecer un cuadrito que su respuesta ha sido de, de, notificando que su respuesta, su respuesta ha sido enviada. Así que van sí. a hacer una captura, una captura de pantalla y la van a enviar a, al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Algunos la vez pasada me la mandaron sin nombre, no, con su nombre completo. Captura y el nombre de una vez, ¿ok? Así que si terminamos todos, empezamos entonces a enviar capturas con nombre completo. Solo una pregunta, Tichel. Adelante, Usmin. Este, eh, eh, en, 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 la, en, la, en la parte que vamos a llenar, o que llenamos ya, de, de qué opina el contenido y estructura del curso, solo hay que llenar una opción, sí. ¿verdad? Excelente, en este caso. Ajá, una opción para cada descripción. Uh -huh. Ah, va, excelente. Gracias, Tichel. Son tres burbujitas las que va a llenar en total, Osmin. Ok, porque hay tres, tres. Tres burbujitas, ajá, una para cada, para cada descripción. Exacto, ya, yeah, sí. Para cada nivel, ¿ok? Ok. En este caso, si se fija, yo llené tres. Ok, así lo, lo mismo tiene que ser. Ok. Comentarios son personales, va. Yes, exactly, that's personal, eso es personal. Voy a, voy a ir verificando las que ya tengo enviadas por acá. Gloria, Zulma, Miguel, Margarita, Flor de María, Adriana Stephanie, Sandra Gladys, Mayra Melanie, Rosa, Lourdes, Ofelia, Ángela, Jancy, Joana, Adam, Rafael, Darwin y Ana Michelle, right? Ya, pero ahí mal creada. Rafael. Ya, Rafael. Ya, 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 ya. Ok. Ada, ya está enviada, Ada, Patricia. Ada Patricia, hello. Ya, Ada yes, Patricia. Ah, okay. Yes. ok, excelente. Déjeme tengo que cambiar. <ríe> Sandra, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lo envié, Tiche. Ah, ok, estamos bien entonces. Sí, Joana sí. también. Adriana también. Ok, creo que hemos terminado entonces. Muy bien. Ok, muchas gracias. Thank you very much for helping me. Thank you for your help, ok. Uh, and now, 
I guess uh, everyone finished, right? Now we are going to continue uh, with the class. So now forget about la encuesta de, de satisfacción, okay? Ya olvidemos ahorita. Olvidemos, olvidemosnos ahorita de la encuesta de satisfacción, okay? And let's continue with the class. Okay, so I said I will give you five extra minutes, all right, for the activity. ¿Qué estaban haciendo? What were you doing? <laughs> Help me, please. To refresh my I'm mind. I'm discussing with my Excuse. partner. Ah, you were discussing with your partner. Discuss the solution training. Sorry, discussing about that? Ah, about the solution? Discuss the solution trainings. The solution trainings, okay. And what were you discussing? ¿Qué estaban discutiendo? What were you discussing? The, uh, the, ad uh, ah, the advantages and disadvantages. and disadvantages. Okay, the advantages okay. and disadvantages. Por aquí disadvantages. tengo los nombres, okay? Eh, Ada, vaya, ahora sí, para que vayan al mismo equipo, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Lo voy a dejar que ustedes elijan el equipo, ¿ok? Así que Ada, Ingrid, Ofelia, Jansi y Zulma van a ir al equipo 1. Ada, Ingrid, Ofelia, Jansi y Zulma, group number 1, ¿ok? Michelle, Ángela, Miguel y Nosmin, group number 2. Michelle, Ángela, Miguel y Nosmin, group number 2. Gloria, Mayra, Rafael y Rosa, group number 3. Gloria, Mayra, Rafael y Rosa, group number 3. Azalia, Joana, Lourdes, Nelson, and Sandra, group number four. Azalia, Joana, Lourdes, Nelson, and Sandra, group number four. And finally, Adriana, Darwin, Flor, and Margarita, group number five. Okay? So, uh, ¿cuánto tiempo más necesitan? How much time do you need? Let's negotiate. No, not too much. <laughs> not, not, not 30 minutes. 10 minutes? Ten minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. minutes. Ten okay, ten. I will give you, I will give you uh ten or fifteen minutes. All right. So Thank try you. to to do it a little fast, please. All right. So let's go then. Okay. So please choose the group. Seleccionen el grupo. Choose the group. Teacher. Yes. I don't remember in what group you say. Group number four, Lourdes. Thank you. Okay. Floor group number five. You didn't receive the, not the, the message to enter? Floor? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Did you receive the message to enter? ¿Ya recibiste el mensaje para entrar al grupo? No. No, okay, let me send you then. So, Flor is in group number five, five. right? Five, okay. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Joanna is in group number four.
in Cape. Uh, what do you think is is best pass at the next at the next uh, training solution? It's a number four. It's mentoring. What do for you think? Me, for me, I think that it is an advan advantage. Advantage, advantage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you can receive feedback and, and help. Yes. Yes. Uh, for me, it's, it's too. It's a it's advantage. Is uh, in this case, I I uh, I use this this uh, this method, this training solution, in my work. Uh, when when uh, uh, when uh, arrive arrive new people in in my actually uh, in my in my, in my puesto, pero no, no me acuerdo cómo sería puesto. Eh, in the workplace. In my workplace, yes. Eh, I mentoring at the new, uh, at the new, new employee. <coughs> I mentor. Eh, in this case is when I say uh, that the person, if he have the, the technical, uh, the technical skills, but now, but not uh, knows the, the the business, the business in the in the work. Uh, only. Yeah. Understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. What do you think about this, Osmi? This, uh, this mentoring. Uh, in my case, the mentoring is very important. Okay. Because uh, he prepared the future new employees. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you say another thing in, in this case, uh, Michelle, uh, disadvantage or, or, or other advantage? Michelle? Se fue. Ahí está, señorita Michelle. Okay, quizás está ocupada. Uh, Okay, uh, Angela, say, in say my, in this training solution, okay? Uh, in my case, um, um, always we have training for the uh, provide for new uh, product. Um, I consider is very important uh, for uh, the personal uh, self and uh, for me uh, I know conocer no no um the new product um for for future para comprarlo buying and buying uh -huh, yes um um only okay okay only. Uh, uh, Michelle is missing he, in, in, in this place, uh, the teacher is coming. <laughs> I think she had connection problems. I think okay. she had connection problems because suddenly she disappeared. Okay, okay. Creo que le pasó okay. a la pobre chica. Yeah, she has connection problems, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, pass, uh, the, next, uh, the next training solution is, uh, is an in-house training. 
Yes. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, in house trainings, it's allowed people to learn in their own place and to apply new knowledge in, immediately. immediately. Mm, the yeah. trainer must be technically be, technical be able, technically be, technically able, be able to do tasks and have the patient to teach or coach. This esto permite a la gente el conocer sus en su propio lugar y aplicar un nuevo conocimiento inmediato. El entrenador debe ser eh, técnicamente dispuesto a hacer las tareas y tener paciencia para enseñar o entrenar. Bueno, esa es mi introducción. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Es de, de beginning, maybe, okay? que permite a las personas aprender en su propio lugar. I mean, in, in their house, whatever they okay. want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Angela, what do you think about this, this, self, this solution training? I think um, it's very um, opportunity to in in por medio de Zoom vaya está bien voy 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 lo que no mucho me convence es la una y la dos la uno y la dos Ajá. Ay, que se copió, se Ajá. copiaron las cosas. Ajá. En la dos podríamos eh, poner como permite la integración del grupo de trabajo ¿no? como ventaja permite la integración in number two we can write <laughs> hi teacher try to practice intenten practicar try to practice allow integration <laughs> Uh, for, for example, uh, Yancy, allow the integration of more employees in a single section. No. Sí, sesión, sesión, en este caso, Zoom, vamos a decir así. Allow the integration cambiamos alguna este eh, eh, Zulma eh, ¿Mm? así le entiendo yo a, a Yancy que dice allow the integration yo estoy en la captura. Sí. Ah, pero me vamos a ver. Advantage. Disadvantage is transmission informal. Eh. No os preocupéis, teacher nos va a dar media hora más. <risa> Es básico. 
Okay. Advantage is the meetings. Um, the face to face. Uh huh. Um, is face to face. A meeting, yeah. It's a meeting. Yes. Face to face. La ventaja es eh, la 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 use use of email use of email and telephone uh -huh. communication. Use using email and telephone. Va y se las estoy mandando. Pero va a poner la primera que yo le dije. Y se miren face to face. En use en use the email and telephone. Eh. Esta sí puede co quedar más completa. Teléfono. Next. 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 Eh, In-house training, ¿verdad? Vale. Finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. And final. <laughs> Hijos training. Hijos y training. Teacher, yeah. todavía no, teacher. Hijos <laughs> training. Yes. Yes. Hijos yes. training. Información interna dice que permite a las personas aprender en su propio lugar y aplicar nuevos conocimientos de inmediato. El entrenador debe ser técnicamente capaz de realizar tareas y tener paciencia para enseñar o entrenar. Adentros. Advantage is allows people to learn at their own place. Okay, um, well, if you didn't finish, don't worry, okay? I know some people were still working, but I gave you a lot of time. I think it was enough, okay? So uh, then we are going to uh, start uh, sharing. So we are going to do it. We are going to follow uh, this dynamic, all right? Teacher, teacher on to... the raffle. Sorry? On the raffle, in the raffle. And then? Raffle, raffle. The raffle? Yes. What For the... what? <laughs> no no i mean we don't have a raffle today all right so um for for, for you mean for participations right <laughs> okay uh, so we are going to listen then to uh, maybe to two opinions about the same uh training solution okay two opinions about the same training solution giving advantages and disadvantages okay so let me see. So we are going to start with um, Gloria, all right? Uh, oh, oh, let me see here, let me see the groups. Well, we are going to listen to, um, from group number one, we are going to listen to Ada. And from group number two, we are going to listen to Michelle, okay? About, uh, about the first uh, training, let me project here. Let me show you the, the training solution so you have a better idea. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so uh, let's see, uh, for the first one, okay? The first one we said is uh, shadowing, right? Yes, yes, it's shadowing. 
So we are going to listen to Ada and, and Michelle, okay? Talking about the advantages and disadvantages of shadowing. So Ada, can you share please? Um, of the shelf training courses. Advantage, you can take courses when you have time. And disadvantage, reduce the time, family or rest. For shadowing. Shadowing. Yes. Um, or, or you are talking about the, off the shelf training. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Let's talk about off the shelf training then. Okay. Let's start with off the shelf training. Okay. So can you repeat, please, Anna? Um, Bentash, you can take course when you have time. And okay. disadvantage, reduce the time, family, or rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. It's your own idea. Okay. Yeah, but, but if it's uh if it's off the shelf, okay, remember uh, that you need to be in the place, all right? So it's uh, cheaper, right? But you need to get together with other employees, okay? Thank you very much, Ada. So let's listen to uh, Michelle with the same off the shelf training courses. I think Michelle had problems with the connection, right? So let's listen to Miguel then, okay? Okay, okay. The reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, in, in this case, teacher, uh, uh, in, in the group, uh, think it, we think it is a, is a cost, it's a not expensive, the, the training solutions, and it's a more common, more common this, this, this training. It, okay. This is this is the advantage when when think when we think. Okay. And disadvantage? No. No disadvantages. No, 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 no disadvantage. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's cheaper. It's cheap, right? It's cheaper than other courses, than other trainings. It's okay. Okay, that's one advantage. And one advantage is that means you can get together with different employees, with many employees, because it's generic, right? Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Miguel. So let's listen. Um, okay. Let's listen to another opinion. Okay, so let's listen to. Um, let's see, Lourdes with the same. Lourdes, hello. Are you there? Está Lourdes por ahí. Is Lourdes yes, there? teacher, lo siento, es que como está usando dos celulares, no, no sabiendo dónde está. All right, Lourdes. At the same Lourdes, off the shelf training courses. The same, number one, off okay. the shelf training courses. Um, advantage is a cheaper course. And disadvantage, uh, the topics are general. Oh, the topics are too general. So you can specialize in something specific, right? It's okay. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I like the idea. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's listen. Um, oh, let's go to in house training. Okay. So let's listen to Jansi, Angela, and Gloria. All right. Jansi, Angela, and Gloria. So Jansi, go ahead, please. In house training advantages and disadvantages. Jansi. Yes. In-house training, advantages and disadvantages. Okay. In-house training and advantage is all of the internal integration of more employees in the single section of the platform and the same venture, the ventaja, reduce the same in the family of risk. All right. Okay, because it's in-house, it reduces time with family, right? 
and it's the advantage is that more many people can can take the training okay very good thank you that's interesting angela what do you have in, in house in training, training uh is advantage for for me for um is very comfortable in okay. my house is um a, for um i como sería we have the family in in only <laughs> only that and only disadvantages that. angela disadvantage i i no veo una i no como sería i don't see i, I don't see, see any, any uh, okay the, the, I see more, more, advantages. more advantages. Okay, perfect. So one advantage is that you can be comfortable in your house. Yeah, in your sofa, for, in your hammock. For el, for el, for Thai eh, is, um, eh, por seguridad, como diría, teacher? Uh, for safety. For safety, for, um, okay, yeah. Okay, thank you, Angela. Thank you very much. So let's listen to Gloria now. Gloria, hello. Hello, Gloria. Are you there? No, she disappeared. I don't see her. Okay, so let's listen then to um, Darwin. Hello, teacher. Hello, Darwin. Go ahead. The same in house training. Okay. Uh, advantage is more comfortable. The same is the other. And second, there is a no cost associate to attend the other meeting. Can you repeat the second, please? The disadvantage? The disadvantage or advantage? No, uh, you said advantage or disadvantage? Advantage. This okay, moment, repeat advantage. it, uh, There is no cost associated to attend the other training. Okay, very good. So it's, uh, it's cost effective. Okay, thank you. That's very good. Thank you very much, Darwin. Okay, now let's, let's, let's see the, the, the next one. Okay, so the next one is shadowing, right? I like this one. I don't know why. Okay, shadowing. So let's listen to Flor. Flor, what do you have in shadowing? Bueno, ¿qué se me han hecho, pues? Lo siento, no, no estuve trabajando en esta actividad. Ah, okay. Okay, let's listen to um, Adriana. Adriana, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, shadowing. Adriana. Uh, yeah, shadowing. The advantage a uh, meeting for new employee to answer the question or doubt. Okay. And the adaptation period is faster. All right, and, I like it. <laughs> and and as, as, as tanch, as, the ventajas? At disadvantages? Disadvantages. Uh, the other employee time affected? affected? And yes. the and the my not a sympathies sympathies. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So the the time of the other employee is affected, and the company is affected too, right? Because yes, it's yes. like it's like paying two employees for the same purpose. It's okay. Yes. It's true. Thank yes. you very much, Adriana. I like okay. it. Okay. Okay. Let's listen to Asalia with the same one. Shadowing. Asalia? Shadowing, Asalia. Yes, teacher. Okay. Advantage, um, this training is very useful because the new employee learn more faster. Okay. Is this, is this advantage? A disadvantage is that you have to use an extra resource and 
It affects the production. Exactly, it affects production because you need to use an extra employee, right? An extra resource, okay? Thank you very much, Asalia and Melanie. And let's go to the next one and the last one, right? Mentoring. Okay, let's see mentoring. Uh, let's listen to, let me see here, Sulma. Sulma, are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay, let's Sorry. listen to Sulma. For shadowing. No, for the last one, mentoring. Okay. Um, the employees have a, the vantage, the employees have a personalized training. Okay. That's an advantage. Okay. Disadvantages? Disadvantages is the employee limit himself to creating his own uh, learn. Learning. Learning. Okay, very good. I like it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to Rafael with the same one, with the same uh, training solution. I Rafael? feel. Oh, okay. I think teacher, um, uh, an advantage is the mentor is an expert and knows how to teach. Uh, will be a, a lot of learning. Okay, so that's one advantage. Yes. And one disadvantage? Uh, disadvantage, uh, if is the mentor, uh, he, he don't like me, I don't know. <laughs> and, and doesn't do his job well, very well. Oh, interesting, all right. Maybe the mentor doesn't do a good job. All right, or maybe the mentor doesn't like me or, or I don't like him, all right? Maybe he doesn't like me or maybe I don't like him, all right? Can be the opposite, all right? Yeah, it's, it's true, all right? So this can happen. All right, and let's listen to a last opinion for the same, for mentoring, okay? So let's listen to uh, Nelson. Nelson, hello? Yes, teacher. Uh, the same, mentoring. The mentoring. Yes, it's. Uh, I think the 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 new employees is learn more faster. But uh, I think it is not indicator because the the learning is step by step. But mm -hmm. the employee learn good. All right. For me. So I uh, so you oh, you don't agree with mentoring. Yes. You don't agree, or you agree? Yes. De acuerdo or desacuerdo? Agree or disagree? Uh, <laughs> disagree. Disagree. All right, it's okay. Yes. It's personal, right? It's a personal point of view. Okay, thank yes. you very much. And thank you very much, everybody, for your opinions about the advantages and disadvantages. Now, personally, uh, which one, which of the training solutions do you think is the best for your company? Voluntarily, voluntariamente, it's voluntarily. A, it depends. It depends. It depends on what, Miguel? It depends uh, the work. In my case, I I I teach the mentoring in my oh. in my in my in your workplace. Uh, in workplace, yes, yes. Oh, okay, so mentoring is it's is best for your uh, yes. for your workplace. All right, in, very in good. this in this case, the the person. Or the employee knows knows the knows a technical. Uh, he has he, he or she have a technical uh, knows. Okay. Uh, skills, but no, uh, but not uh, knows the the business. Mm. This is this is the this is the part with I mentor. Oh, I see. So it's not in everything. It's only in some yes. specific parts. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. I like it. Thank you very much, Miguel, for sharing. Anybody else? So what training solution is best for your company? Do I start shooting again? Empiezo a disparar otra vez. Do I start shooting again? In-house training, <laughs> Okay, let me see. In-house training, Rafael? Yes. 
Yes, okay, yes. yes. Why? Consider the cost and learning quality. And oh. for the company is, uh, for example, um, the company uh, can train your uh, his, employees. their employees and off a schedule job. Mm, all right, so that's an advantage for your company, right? And yes. and it's and because of the pandemic, right? I think it's better because of the pandemic. You know, many people, I mean, taking the virus to other people, so it's better in-house training because of the situation we are living in this moment. Okay, thank you very much, Rafael. Okay, very good. Uh, so anybody else? A last opinion. Una última opinión. A last opinion for this. So Me wait. Teacher. Okay, Mayra. My company is in-house training because all the certifications are online and mm. there are equipment uh, in the office uh, for the technicians and they um, they have laboratories and exercise in the office oh interesting very good so for you this is the best the best training solution right yes it's the best no. option okay there's no other <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mayra. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, everybody, thank you very much for your participation. I know everybody worked, okay? So not everybody participated, but everybody worked, okay? I know that. So please go to reactions and give yourselves a heart. Give yourself, oh, wow, it's okay, no problem. Okay, a ta -da, a heart. All right, thank you very much. <clears throat> Santa class again, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, uh, now let's go to one of uh, the next activities. And in the next activity, uh, let, let, me, let me look for it here because I lost it somehow. We have some questions, okay? And okay, let me show you the questions here. And in the questions we have, let me show you here. Okay, we have two questions. This time you are not going to write the answers, okay? This time you are not going to write the answers, okay? Because the questions are very simple. Question number one is, are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? I mean, are trainings implemented because you see that some customers, I mean, some employees are having problems? or in their performance, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of a training? You can say maybe, oh, you can evaluate the effectiveness of a training with a checklist, uh, with an instrument, I don't know, all right? Uh, with a, by observing, with observation, yeah? So please, I give you two minutes, think, and then I will ask you, two minutes, think. Don't write the answers, only think. Performance is rendimiento, right? Okay, performance. In question number two is about maybe an instrument, okay? A type of instrument or maybe observation. 
Okay, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? ¿Cómo evalúas la, la efectividad de capacitación? Right, in your company, right? Maybe you can say observation, a checklist, an observation list, an online survey, una encuesta en línea, an online survey, maybe, I don't know, all right? That's optional. I, uh, by talking to the, to the employees, all right? By observing the employees. How do you say rendimiento, teacher? How do you say? Rendimiento. Performance, you have it there. Performance. Performance, yes. Employee performance, rendimiento del empleado. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, let's see some opinions, all right? Let's see, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see, um, Rafael, tell me a number from one to 15. 10. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anna Michelle, all right? Anna Michelle. So in your opinion, are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? The microphone, Michelle. No, I think that no. Uh, for example, in my company, uh, we have trainings to our mental health or to improve uh, our skills is not necessary to correct the problems. Okay, very good, I like it. And question number two, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Eso no lo contesté. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can say, um, the idea of this question is how do you uh, evaluate the effectiveness of a training is like in your company, right? Como evaluar, okay, la efectividad de, ese, de esa capacitación que recibieron los empleados. Maybe you can say with a checklist, como una lista de cotejo, with oh. an observation list, uh, I talk mm -hmm. to the employees or by talking to the employees, I don't know, okay? Uh, in in my company, we uh, after we receive the the training, yes, um, they send send us a checklist or uh, yes, yeah, a, a checklist. checklist, a checklist. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. That's excellent. So, Michelle, uh, tell me another number from one to ten. Mm, number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ingrid, but Ingrid, I don't know, she said she's sick, I think. Ophelia isn't participating. Joanna, either, Sulma. No, right, yeah, okay. Hola, yes. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Okay, okay, Sulma, let's listen to Sulma. Question number one, are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? I think no, because the employees need continuous training. Uh, they can better your abilities. That's right. They can be trained very frequently, okay? To improve their abilities or to get more skills. Thank you, mm -hmm. Sulma. Now, question number two, Sulma. How do you evaluate the, the effectiveness of training? You can pass a survey or evaluate results after trainings. All right, excellent. That's pretty good. Uh, what is survey? Uh, encuesta. Encuesta. You can pass a survey. It's okay. All right, survey. Thank you very much, Sulma. Okay, let's listen to the last opinion for these questions. Sulma, tell me a number again from one to from one to one. <laughs> I think one. One, you think one? One. Okay, Ada Patricia. All right. Hey. 
Yes, Our trainings do. implemented only to correct problems with employee performance, Ada? No, also to learn new techniques in oh. their job. Can you repeat it, please? Sorry. Uh, no, also the, the, to learn new techniques in their job. Oh, good. Uh, it's also to learn new techniques in the job, for the job, okay? Yeah, yeah. Good, I like it. How do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Um, for me, the encuesta is for, for the... With surveys. With, with surveys. surveys. With surveys, yes. all right? With surveys. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, everyone, go to reactions and let's give uh, opinions a Tara, all right? A Tara. You sure? Yes. Yes? Tell me, who said teacher? Yes, teacher, my what opinion. Do you want to give your opinion? Yes. Okay, let's listen to Asalia Melanie then. It's fine. Oh my God, this is, these are the kind of students I like. <laughs> In the last minute. In the last minute. <laughs> I think she wants to go to sleep. Okay, pues, entonces, no, papaya. Good night, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> now let's listen to Asalia. Okay, Asalia. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems, problems with employee performance? No, not only for that, but to give more knowledge to these staff and to be able to perform their work better. Okay, very good, to give them knowledge, to provide them with knowledge. Thank you. Number two, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? They evaluate it with satisfaction forms. Okay, that's very good. With a satisfaction form, Google forms. forms. <laughs> All right, thank yes. you very yeah, much. Todo le pongo <laughs> oh, no, oh, really? I don't think so. Okay, let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Uh, Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Joanna? Here, teacher. Margarita? I'm here. Oh, no, excellent. No. Oh, aquí no mencioné a Lourdes. A mí, yes. Ok, Lourdes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Present. Ok, I'm sorry, Lourdes. It wasn't intentional, ok? Mayra. Okay. Present, teacher. Miguel. Lulita. Present, teacher. Nelson. Present, teacher. Ofelia. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Present. Rosa. 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 Present teacher. Ah, okay. Sandra. Present. Present. Very good. Very good. Jancy. Present. Rosalia. Present. All right. Zulma, sorry. No I didn't say Zulma. Present. Uh -huh. Después de Zulma, estaba esperando <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ingrid? Present. Okay. And Susana? And Susan? No, not connected. Not connected. All right, everyone. It's 10 to already, but it's not time yet. Okay, ahora nos vamos a ir a las 10 y 20, okay? We leave at 10.20 today. <laughs> a question, teacher. Yes, tell me, del módulo 1 de internet. Yes. Yes. Party <laughs> time. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> yes, it's me. Tell me. Party time. Excuse me, teacher. What is our next module? Sorry? <laughs> yes. But when it starts... The next um, mode. No les han avisado nada todavía. No, yeah. ¿De no. cuándo empieza o cómo? Sí, cuándo empieza. No les, no les escribieron ahí. No. No les no. dieron fecha. 
Ok, no, vamos a estar pendientes porque ahorita no tengo información, tampoco me han informado cuando inicia, ok? Pero en... Ah, November 8. Ah, November 8. Es posible. Es posible. It's possible, I think, Osmin. I think possible. it's a possible okay. day. It's a possible uh, schedule. Okay. Okay. Okay, Thank everybody. You. Okay, everyone. Uh, well, is I will say this in Spanish. Okay, I will change. I will switch my mind. Pero primero, antes, antes de decirlo, quiero preguntar si ya todos terminaron la plataforma. No, hoy no yes, he revisado. Teacher. No he ido a revisar, yes. pero todos están al día con yes, el examen. Yes, yes. Yes. Ok, excelente. Yeah. En caso que yeah. haya alguien que esté pendiente, voy a ir a revisar y le voy a escribir un mensajito a las 12, ¿ok? <risa> y, si no, y si no me contesta, le voy a llamar. <risa> no, I'm kidding, it's not true. No, pero espero realmente que ya todos hayan completado la plataforma. Y aquí culminamos módulo 1. Saben que aquí son cinco semanas para estos módulos, ¿ok? So it's yeah, been a pleasure. Que okay, ha sido un placer estar siempre con ustedes. Así que, okay. so, thank you very much for everything. Para nosotros también. Que usted, 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 usted. Esperamos verle en el próximo módulo. Oh, okay. Cante con la guitarra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> con la guitarra, what? <laughs> Cante. Con la guitarra. Oh yes. <laughs> I will I will sing with my guitar. I don't have it here. <laughs> yes. well, I, can, teacher? I can play the guitar, but I don't promise singing, okay? Singing. Puedo oh, intentar yeah. tal vez tocar, pero cantar no, okay? Not singing. Okay. Le vamos a hacer coro, teacher. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for your support. <laughs> singing is not for me. Okay, everybody, so um, then thank you very much for everything. Take good care of you. Practice English, practice English. <laughs> Practice English, okay? Muchas gracias, teacher. Por, a pleasure, okay, teacher. Por, por bien, la a paciencia, por el much. apoyo. Por, yes, Ophelia. Thank you, teacher. Yes, Azalia. Muchas thank gracias. You. Good night. Okay. Thank you very much, teacher. What's okay. No, thank you. See you. Thank you for your patience, teacher. Compañeros, okay. yes, esperemos, yes, esperemos vernos. La foto y la foto ya la tomaron, la foto al final de módulo, no. Oh, 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 no. ¿Quién la va a tomar? No. Google Take. Ahora sí, todos listos, right? Cámara bonita. For the remember. One, two, three. Adriana, que cuenten. ¿qué pasa con Adrianita? Que no se ve. No quiere salir en la foto. No, yo no. No, no. <risa> Lo voy a asustar si me ven ahorita. Solo usted falta y solmita, ¿no? No, Adriana. Se las debo para el siguiente. Ah, oh. Ok, ¿quién la va a tomar entonces? Ok. Sé que la tomó. ¿Quién la tomó? La tomó? Ok. Ok, I guess Azalia did. Ok, so everybody, thank you very much. Good night, sweet dreams, and practice English. Ok. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Yo voy a decir good night todos los días, teacher. Yes, please. El lunes a viernes. I will miss it. <laughs> bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Rosita Peshosha. Bye. 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 Bye, bye.